running. Why is this so loud? There we go. Alright, let me know if it's not loud enough. Um, I reset the, it was, the volume was just so loud. Microphone. <laughs> All right. While searching for the witch on. Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to take him shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the Elven Mage. Yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher that felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Welcome crones back. of Crookback Bog. Alright, we gotta find these crones. We're gonna finish up finding the Baron's wife and daughter, or at least whatever remains potentially of them. And then we'll kind of go in search of these crones... I think I saw this part. I, th I think I saw someone stream the part with the crones previously. Alrighty. So this was that family. So off we go. Let's go. My voice is a little quiet. Is a little better now? Better? I'm also not like screaming into it. Okay, cool. Yeah, the regular sound was turned way up, so it threw everything off. I don't know where our horse is. Do we ride our horse here? Oh, crap. go. One hit. Alright, let's go. Keep on moving. We need to talk to the Baron. Alright, come on. We need Roach. Come on, Roach! Let's go! Oh, something in my ear. Okay. Alright, let's, let's get on Roach. Let's go. <laughs> I will I remember that. I I remember not to eat the bear liver. Unless I just want to die, you know. I mean, I guess it's a way. Do, is it painful? Like is it an option uh for if suicide attempts? Oh god. Oh dear lord. Come on, Roach! There are drowners afoot. You're standing around. Oh. You. Uh. We need to find someone to volunteer. Volunteer as tribute. Try it out. Well, I guess that would kill you. It'd just be a little bit more unpleasant. I don't know why I take Roach when I go here. But I do. It's what I do. Alright. Slower. Goodbye, Roach. Witcher, found a word, please. Who are you? What is it? What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. 
What did you and the Baron do? None of your Gotta business. Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Oh. I wonder what's up. Hi, guy. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She Aww. was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Gotta talk about your family. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Yeah, we're out in the rain, dude. No wonder why. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she alright? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again. No intention to return. Oh. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. Looks like we're going I to shan't Oxenfurt. Believe anyone else. Ollie Ollie Oxenfurt. I'll go. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. Call it enticement. And this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. All right. Very well. You were to find the. Alright, we got some money. What have Anna learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. Tell us, sir. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Say, hey, Sam Ben! Come! Our haunt should be yours as I see. Welcome it. tonight. We got started a little late. <laughs> oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? On the road. She's not gonna tell them. A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who oh exactly my gosh. are you? <laughs> you a mercenary? Just a traveler. I just travel a lot. And I don't always happen upon such good and civil company. Ah, gift of the gap she's got. Here's the good company. Man, they did catch a good sized boar or whatever. This I like. Drinks like a lad, knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. A she wolf, if ever I've seen one. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword, I've known one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback, nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Wow, dude, Perhaps just you tell her how you feel. 
Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's I think she dead? can. I don't think I can. Black mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Coward? What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? Oh. The horse is mine. Oh. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take it. Oh, we sword. can't let him win, guys. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You want your head about you? Well, we start at daybreak. Oh, we're gonna beat him. I believe in us. Maybe we won't. I hope we do. Someday. Someone got carjacked, guys. Alright. Let's do this. I'm gonna try to kick his butt, but my relationship with these horses is not the best. Die dawns. Ready? As ever. Let's do it. First one to the tower. Man chop. Which one am I riding? The white one? Yep. Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. Oh, go the wrong way, guys. I thought I had to keep my stamina. The horse was running out. Unnecessary. Oh, so mad. I await my reward. What? So mad. Oh crap. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this, never. Uh oh, I know that look. Uh oh. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. All right, we gotta find Working the wife. On it. And making piss poor progress. All right, they dude, get off our backs. Up. Hadn't considered that possibility before, but don't worry, I'll find Anna too. Heard about any witches in the Heard area? Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Alright, how'd you wind up here? How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. More units smashed at the war start. Soon after, we lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters, or merely broken men joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With yeah. Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled and abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. 
All right. So you work. Why are you working with Nilfgaard? Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilfgaardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero. Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather I don't blame him. Ere long, none will remember it. Tamaria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. <laughs> I guess we have to play Gwent. That's, uh, let's do it. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I use Oh, he's gonna game. win. If you're a deck, win. sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for you? Oh man, we're gonna lose. <laughs> Alright, let's play. Let's lay Let's down. give it a shot, why not? You're here to help? Alright, well you better help me. Alright, I only have one deck, so let's just go. And it's still with my beginner cards. Alright, opponent's going first. Bring it. Oh, we had to choose a card to redraw. Let's redraw this. Should we keep this one? Or should we, uh... Double the strength of both cards. Oh, we can flip through. Keep them all? Alright, let's keep them all. How do I, like, just let it go? Alright, let's go. Bring it. All right, so he's putting out one of these infantry guys. What do we want to do? Do we want to put out... What do we have here? What's this guy? He's a siege expert, so he's a siege... A siege guy. Do we want to put out a siege guy? Give it a shot. Let's go for it. All right, he's putting out one of those guys. They're going to double it. So the weather effect, so the rain stops the archers. Or no, the rain stops the siege weapons, from what I understand. Yeah, so the rain's going to stop the siege weapons. It's going to set all of their power to one. The fog does it for archers, and the snow does the same thing for... Um, infantry so we could theoretically put like a snow out and it's gonna it's gonna reduce both of his infantry down to one but they're still gonna it'll I think it reduces the entire infantry down to one instead of four from what I understand so we could potentially do that let's go with that Oh, it's the strength of all close combat cards to one for both players. So does that mean each card gets one? But if that's the case, it won't have an effect. Because they're boosting, they're going to boost each other no matter what. So I don't know if that's going to work for those. What is it? I want to play another one of these guys. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, so it's gonna add plus one. Yeah, I am putting out another thing. Yeah. All right, let's put out a big siege. How about? And then maybe we call it there. Oh no. Do you think we? Do you think we put out the snow now? Or put out the fog? The snow? Yeah. Yeah, see, so it like, oh. But he's getting rid of all his cards. 16, so we'd have to put out another siege. Or we could
put out the rain, but we would be tied. What is our person's ability? Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. Siege again. I don't want to- okay. They've passed, so we'll pass too, right? Yeah. Alright, we won that one. Okay, cool. So how many cards- okay, we each have five. And we got a card, okay. So the Northern Realms faction was triggered. So what is this, an archer? So we want to put out- do we want to put out these guys, I guess, right? To start off. Get those out on the board. Alright, he's got a siege. So we can put out- we don't have any more siege, so we'll put out the, uh the rain or should we let him put out more we'll put out this guy real quick and then we'll put out the rain to wipe out the siege yeah i can't play the rain later all right i'm gonna put out this guy I don't know what the spy guy does. Like, I don't know what the point of him is. Oh, crap. We don't have that many cards left. world all we have left is this card we ah we have nothing left so we lose we're gonna lose the next two games <sighs> yeah Man. <laughs> How does he get to play two cards? Ah, uh, we knew that was gonna happen. You're not complete shite. But you really should work on your All right, get off my back. I hate this Stop game. Stop by again soon time. We'll play another round. Stupid card game. This is why I don't play in-game games. They're stupid. All right, let's go. Oh, we need to find the Baron's wife. the horse race if I had known it was such a short yeah right if I had known that was such a short stupid distance I would not have slowed Wait, down but I you... thought I had to keep my stamina when you find my daughter will you give her this a rag doll uh -huh. all right Go. Baron gets soused. He gets angry, and he's always drinking. Let's see if we need to fix our stuff. How may I assist you? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Do you think we could beat that guy, Gwent?
Okay, hold on. I gotta, like... So long. I gotta check my inventory here. So we have this thing. It's slightly better. This one is better. 60 to 74 damage. As opposed to the... Yeah, let's equip this one. Alright. Alright, let's, um... Let fix you. our stuff. And then... Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Where's my stuff that's equipped? Oh, this is like okay let's do this repair here we go fix that fix this okay six we'll just we'll just fix everything because you never know what's gonna happen when we're out there Okay, let's go to the shop and sell some stuff. How much more money does he have? 740? Okay, cool. Alright, we don't really want to dismantle things. No, I didn't sell my weapon. They don't show your weapon when you're in the shop window. They don't they don't show whatever you have equipped so that you can't accidentally sell it. I had two of those particular axes. Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong button. So let's sell some of Roach's saddles. I don't know what saddle he has, so let's just keep that one for now. They can't be sold. Those, okay. What do we have for, uh, for, for this? We're missing components. Alright, they don't really- he- this guy doesn't have anything for us. Alright, let's play him. In Gwent. Yearning sure. to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. Alright, let's do it! Come on, SS Penetration, be there for me. Support me! I don't think we need two impenetrable fogs. What do we have? This guy, we got this lady. Especially because we have a few archers, so we don't need, and we can get an impenetrable, so that's the thing, we can get an impenetrable fog. That's our ability. So we don't necessarily even need to have one because we just got another armor archer, so I think it's better to try to get rid of this and draw another card because we can always pull a fog out of our deck. All right. So how should we play? Should we go with like heavy hitter first? I don't know how this guy works. We have mainly archers and so do they. So I think we should try to match so that they won't use some kind of fog or something on us. 
but maybe that wasn't the best move because if they waste a bunch of archers then we could potentially use that to our advantage should we do these guys it's not going to give us much let's try play infantry yeah yeah i regret playing that archer because we could have used the fog but it's okay we can pull a fog it's fine yeah. Yeah, we definitely... I'm gonna play this, and I think maybe on... Let's see what they do. Alright, they passed. There we go. did it we wasted an archer but we got it and we're ahead on cards so hopefully that helps us okay so should we go for the siege then should we just bring out our heavy hitters or should we because we have this guy and i think this guy is a spy i don't know how he works place on your opponent's battlefield counts for opponent's tunnel and draw two cards from your deck so we could play him and draw two cards or just go infantry again. We only have one infantry card. All right, let's go for it. All right, this guy has archers again, but we can't use. Hmm. Should we put out an archer? this archer lady I don't want to depend too much because they could have like a rain or something and if I blow all my siege in one shot he could win you know oh but I do have a clear weather so it should be okay use the spy all right we got another archer and an infantry oh crap oh should we bring out siege what is the infantry guy buffs though i think right place next to car with the same name oh it's the same name to double it but we don't have another one of those so we've got this lady i don't know if we should try to because it's gonna be hard i don't know if we should just bail let him win this and then we'll definitely win the next one because we're we're over on cards like what do you think yeah that's what i was thinking because i don't think we're gonna win this this one and then They won the round, and then hopefully we can come back. <laughs> because we're, we out-card them. Alright. Alright, so they're, they're blocking our sieges. That's okay, we'll leave it for now. I'll play the archers. Because I can I can get rid of the rain. Actually Yeah, cuz he started having What do you think? We're just gonna keep playing. Oh, they already passed, so they don't get another turn. We did it! We won! I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Alright, we did that. Good work, us. 
Good work, team. Let's read the bulletin board. Mandatory conscription. Time has come to supplement the castle watch with new recruits. Every family must provide one man able to bear arms. Any family with no such man under its roof must, must pay a waiver in silver or goods. Any clever coward thinking to shirk his duty by cutting off his thumb shall have both hands chopped off as a lesson and mark of shame. Rubs for aches and more. My daughter's hands be strong and supple and more than one man or wife complaining of which shot. I know, right? It is rude. Stop taking people's family members. Complaining of witch shot or other aches of the back have come to her greatly troubled and left at ease. If hard work in the fields has got you hunched over like an ox bur uh, overburdened ox, come to our hut and find relief. P.S. Waste not your time nor hours with lecherous proposals. Soothsayer, honest and true sighted, I have many a year behind me and have been through much in each. In return, the gods have granted me the gift of sight. I need but take a hand and gaze upon it, and before my eyes comes a vision of what awaits that hand and its owner and all it touches. Some call it witchcraft and unnatural, this gift, but to my reckoning, it's the same as how some swim strong or play fiddle masterfully, while others sputter and screech. If you don't fear knowing what fate has in store, come pay a visit to old Raksh. Raksh? Raksh? We don't know their name. Ointment for diverse ailments, ointment for carbuncles, boils, and gout have I to exchange for salted meat or such. Be warned, tis awful rank and noisome to wear, yet I swear it works wonders. Do we trust Lemuel? I don't know about that. Our Bilberries died. Oh, my daughter Bilberry, a lovely girl and the apple of our eyes, died this year, the fourth of her short life. We buried her in the graveyard by the crooked birch. Whoever wants to place a lump of earth or light a candle for her, that's where to go. Oh, that's so depressing. Flogging. As punishment for failure to perform feudal duties, a hundred lashes each have been administered to George of Shrain, Sten Broadus, Broadus the Elder, and Mussy Halen. May this serve as a reminder, the hand that feeds can also strike its wayward warts. All right, good to know. That's a lot of lashes, guys. A hundred lashes. Crap. It's a considerable amount. Where's Roach? Where are you, Roach? Come to me. We have to go on a journey, Roach. Let's go. Run, Roach. Get going. I wonder where let, we should stop at the uh Quite the work, my man's got, eh? Not half bad. Not so fast, Roach. Come on. The inn here. Is there an inn with food? Hold on. We need somewhere with food so we could just buy some. There looks to be nowhere with food in this town. All right, we're on a journey. Let's go. Time one of us fell ill. Always helpful. Oh my god, run, Roach. Who cares if you run those guys over? Oh, we're going this way. The drowners kind of scare me. They're too slippery. And then we need to investigate all the leads, but first, we're going to Oxford. Going this way. This way. <laughs> there be dead people on this bridge. Nothing to do, eh? Beware. Whoa there, Roach.
Man, oxen fur is a trek. Wolves following us. We're not dealing with whatever's. Oh crap, we gotta turn around. Nope, we're going this way. Do we have to turn? Oh. No, we can go this way. Going up the road. Oh, this way. This thing is very not clear about where it wants us to go. It keeps changing its mind. We gotta, we gotta save and rest after that. Alright, cool. Woo! We did it. Oh, here's Rich. Alright, let's go. noises around here. Bell in the devil's pit. Got a bit of a way to go still. We're bypassing all these hordes of monsters.
Where's oxen fur? Here's oxen fur. So we have to go through the town. All right, all right, we're going through the town. See you guys. Wow, that guy's rude. I'm saying rude words. Is this the way to Oxenfurt? Looks like it. Not so fast, Roach. Halt! No passage. Halt! Case of the pass. plague surface in the city or something. The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. Oh, we've got a pass, sir. Who's restricted? Who ordered the city gates closed? Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. How dare he? Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. So, mm -hmm. no pass, no passage. All right, I got a pass. This way, you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. That happens, so be it. You may come through. There we go. We're in. I just like, I was like, no, that's not possible. They're like, it's fine. All right, we're going in. This is where we go, right? She's in Oxenford. This is her. Yeah, it's registering now. It was getting all confused. All right, we're going into the city. Let's check it out. Keep that up and I'll crack your skull off. Man, these people are rude already. His Majesty King Radovid is a stern lord, but a just one. Such a nice old man. Has she got a black cat? She has. Who are these people? Plenty. Can I go in here? Did you ever hear of her hurting anyone? All right. It all came out during her interrogation. What's this place? She made the ones bear down. Can I go in here? Oh, we can't. Oh, it's a barber. Let's talk to him. <gasps> Greetings, master. What can I do? Do we want to get our hair cut? Our razor and shears. Yes. Good. Make me look decent. Oh man, he's gonna clip this guy's hair. I'd like a new haircut, please. <laughs> oh. Oh, what do these mean? Loose but not too long? Let's go with that. What does that look like? If it's a bowl cut, I'm paying another 10 gold to change it. No. No, I want a new one. Long and loose? What does this look like? We're gonna blow all our money at the barber. How do I make it? How do I make it what it was? This is fine. This is fine. So long. So long. I regret everything. All right, let's go. This is what I get for trying to change things. Over here, let's explore a little bit. Redania. Well, there are boats down here. Here's a dock hand. Whoa there, right picker. Don't call me names. 
Got some sizable boats down here. Whoa, look at that boat. This is a serious boat down here. Ah. Can we go on these boats? Ooh, we can. I'm moving. Don't mind me! Your wives miss me. Long live Radovid! Can we go up on the big fancy one? Let's see. Let's check it out. No, it doesn't look like we can. They're not letting me loot. Where in the world's the real merchant? Why Taking a peek at my wares. This Thank guy. you. Ah. Go on, don't think twice. Uh, Just uh. Ah. This guy? Okay. What can I do you for? If I ain't got it today, say the word and I'll have it tomorrow. Alright, let's see what he's got. Let me see. Might pick something. Paint. We might need this to complete a quest. Let's take that just in case. What are. Alright, that's all he has. Should we do another round of cards? Let's do it. Wanted to play cards. Doubt we need to wait. Alright, let's go. Let's play some cards. Alright, let's see what our deck is here. We'll go first. So we've got two torrential rains. I want to get rid of a torrential rain, I think. Should we? What do we have here? We have two siege weapons. A spy. We've got, we got three siege and a few mercenaries. I'm gonna get rid of the fog because I don't really want a bunch of weather. All right, good, we got another one of these guys. Do you think we need two rains or? I think three is pretty good. Cause we don't have that many archers. Oh, but rain hurts siege weapons. So we don't really want rain. All right, let's go. Our turn. play let's put this out see what they do Alright, I'm gonna play the rain and then I'm gonna like see what they do and then maybe pass. Cause I don't I wanna keep cards. Oh, they cleared the weather.
know if I want to just like waste this guy, draw two cards. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll draw two cards and I'll pass. Oh! still has seven cards. This isn't going to help us. And we're going to blow one of these. Oh, well, we probably, we pretty much lost this one, so... All right, our turn. All right, he's putting out a bunch of archers. and see if he plays something. Let's see. I think he's probably gonna just clear it. Like a clear weather. Alright, we won! We won! Yes! Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Okay, let's uh, find this girl. Where do we go? Mark of the devil. She's in here somewhere. Where do we where do we go to get her? Is she up here somewhere? La, 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 la. How do we get in the building? Is the question. I think we have to get in maybe this way, where this door is locked. That did not work. Hmm. Everyone to me. To is she just like out and about? building and I legit think we need to get in that building that way I don't know how else we get in oh maybe we get in here there we go all right we we figured it out I'm looking for Tamara the bloody Baron's daughter your brother said I'd find her here Voitech sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight Yeah, go away. get her, dude. We're not waiting around all day for her. Oh, kitty. Looks kind of like my kitty. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sent you. Well, she does not look like I expected. See if you're still alive, and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. 
Your father's You've got worried. every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. You're right. You're right. Your father's a jackass. Glad we agree. But in that case, why are you helping him? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. What happened to your mother? Tell me your side of the story. Let's hear it. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Tell Mine. us. It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war. I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally, we'd had enough, mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. So what happened to your mother? Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. What? And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Oh. Uh. Why'd your mom miscarry? I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her. She fell. That's how it started. We were alone. No one to help. Blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry. Must have been hard. Mom's a bit old both. to be having a baby mom was girl. Shock. She was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seed. Oh, well, so what are you gonna do now? What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Friends, you speak Who are these of. friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A well, those people you can't trust, girl. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the Eternal Fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Are Thanks. you sure about that, girl? Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. Yeah, it is. So what about your father? What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. Who? I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Who are you? Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. Well, if the bloody a, baron sent you hunter. to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Mm. <coughs> Noble of you. A 
killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. I don't like this guy. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. I'm finding Before her you go, mother. Your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. See ya. All right. So we have to uh, talk to the Baron about Tamara. Let's see what else is in here. Can we loot this place? That door is locked. All right, so we've updated our quest. All right, we got some strawberries. A mysterious letter, which we're going... Oh, we, we want to read the mysterious letter. Okay, let's start with the lands of Velen. The land of Velen, located in western Temeria, is, with its capital in Gorvelen, is one of the poorest provinces in the kingdom. Its territory encompasses the Isle of Thenid, home to the famous Magic Academy, which, along with Gors Velen, constitutes the commercial and devel developmental mainspring of the entire province. Velen is a stop on, Nover on the Novigrad trade route, running through Sidaris, Vergen, Brugge, Sintra, and other southerly realms. Velen Veleners subside primarily on agriculture, crafting, and animal husbandry. The province is practically deprived of all natural resources. It contains a great deal of forests, wetlands, and cultivated woods, though the greatest part of, its, of it is covered in swamps and bogs. Alright. So we have the Ladies of the Wood again, but we already read this. And then we have the Letter of Safe Conduct. In the name of His Majesty Radovid V, King of Redania, the bearer of the present document is entitled to the right of unfettered passage across all blockades on the Pontar River. So where's the new thing we got? This thing. Sage's Notes. Day 3275. Final conclusions regarding the lamp. My experiences with the magic lamp unequivocally confirm that by using it, it active centers of condensed spiritual energy can be coaxed into contact and can communicate with a limited set of the being's late last memories. Lara Doran's remains, however, emit entirely inert spiritual energy despite the violent conditions of her death, which should have strengthened the desired tendency. Lara remains silent. At this point, further research on lamps enabling contact with the dead seem entirely useless for my purposes. All right, so we learned that. Let's loot this smoking pipe. Let's go upstairs. What's up here? All right, so we've updated our the Ladies of the Wood quest. Let's go in here. Stealing everything. Got butter knife. Right, we got some raspberry juice. Tub. Ooh. Some water. All right, Toussaint, a duchy of out of tales of fantasy and wonder. When a traveler from northern realms first crosses the border into Toussaint, he feels as though it, he feels at once as though he has stepped into a land ripped straight from the pages of a fantastic fairy tale. He will know no inclement weather there, for even the winters in Tucson are mild and sunny, 
with only gentle calming breezes and not a hint of gale. He will know no hunger, for the trees and bushes of that land burst with ripe and juicy fruits all the year long. He will know no loneliness, for each and every soul he encounters will treat him like a long-lost friend. He will not find a single backwater of dullness, boredom, or in inquietude in his overflowing stream of marvel. In Toussaint, the wine rages in torrents, music plays ceaselessly, and everywhere the air is filled with the sound of birdsong and the twittering of beautiful maids, who are never stingy with their ample charms when a handsome knight comes a-calling. The capital of the duchy, Beauclair, is an architectural gem, full of glorious elven monuments, delicately soaring towers, masterfully carved reliefs, and atmospherically mysterious ruins. Only the rare sun in a field of black, the odd gold and dark stain on an otherwise pristine edifice, reminds one that this land, this fable incarnate, is a vassal of Nilfgaard. All right, someone's a fan. They, they, there's, someone's a fan of that place. All right, let's go. Oh, we were just like robbing this place blind in front of that man. It's fine. So where are we with our quest? So we got to go back. So the ladies of the wood, we have it set to finding the crones, but I think we need to investigate all the remaining leads in Velen and find the Baron's wife. This seems about right. So let's set that one before we go after the crones, you know? Alrighty. Off we go. Let's get back on. Hey. I think if we go to, what else is in this city? Let's look. What can we see in here? Oh God. I ripped my headphones out. <laughs> All right, so there's a merchant near us, the shopkeeper. We've already dealt with him. There's a grindstone. There are those. There's an innkeep. All right, let's go to the Oxenfurt. The storm, damn it! All right, let's fast travel. So we have to go all the way back. To the guy, where is he? Is the question. Down here. We have to go here. So let's go to Crow's Perch. We have to use this more instead of running around. Use the fast travel. You know? Oh, it is a storming. All right, let's go talk to him. So I don't blame anyone for not wanting to really be here. <laughs> Ew, these guys are gross. Yeah. Alright, we're coming in. Prepare yourself. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? I gave your daughter the doll. Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? She's not Probably back. not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Gods, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. But what 
parts of Anna. Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! We're working on it. Alright, see ya. So long. We've got to figure out where she is, is the problem. Like, I don't know what the rest of the... The leads are. <coughs> They're not really giving us much. So, explore the rest of the leads in Velen. We don't have many leads. Alright, so let's see if we can figure it out based off this. So we had the fisherman and we talked to the fisherman. So if still alive, had to be somewhere in Crookback Bog. Tomorrow, on the other hand, I made it to Oxenfurt. Upon hearing this, the Baron revealed another scrap of information about Siri. Blah, blah, blah. So I guess we have to go... To the crookback bog if that's the case I think we need to talk to the witches because they're gonna help us be able to do this all right so why don't we switch over to the witch the ladies of the wood so let's go find those crones let's up our character a little bit. So which one is the telekinetic blast? I think it's this one is the convincing one. Yeah. Oh crap. I want to actually go there. All right. So let's go talk to the f find the crones. Wrong thing. So how do we find them? I don't have any kind of guide. Over here. Ladies of the wood. They're way over here. Okay. We need to figure out how to get there. Is there something I did to like make it go away? far away is the problem. Are there any signposts near it? That's what I want to see. So it's like way out in the bog. 
But is there a signpost at least somewhere? No. Does not look like it. So we're going to come out of there, make a left, somehow follow it down. We could follow it down and around. Not right. so fast, Roach. All right, let's go. Maybe the storm prevents us from having our guiding thing? Just sent Granddad out to some joy with you. So I think we come out of here and we make a left. Are you swift kicking the arse? No. Gonna keep on following the trails as far as we can at least. Till we get a bit closer. Move out of the way, guys. Going slowly. See where we are, how close we are, things like that. All right, we're almost, we're like basically there. Let's go. All right, here's the trail of treats, or at least the beginning of it. trail using my witcher senses. Oh, here we go. trail. Alrighty. 
Made it. <laughs> Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Oh, we've seen this part. Yeah, Interesting this. rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. Don't hear you. What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. He's with Bran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. We're looking for a witch. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Bran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. Mm -hmm. He could still come back. Ever seen an ashen-haired woman around A young here? woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You can see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? <laughs> You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lasses in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Wow. You live here alone? Anyone else here besides you? Meaning who? Someone who might have seen the woman. Like the six-eyed tree? Tree slapped all year. But there is Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You tell them. You take care of the kids? You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Grand's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Are you a witch? Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? <laughs> Nay. I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose. See? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, <laughs> you darling girl. Oh, kids are so sweet. Um, who's Johnny? Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shack. Watch your language. <laughs> they tell tales and tales, nor but tales. I'm looking for someone. Just talking to the kids. Ask them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? Well. My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. This woman's insane, guys. Please help me. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? <laughs> to the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. Uh, see you, kiddo. All right, we got to go to the hut and talk to the boy. Shards. All right, 
this is the wrong hut. So we've got to go to this one over here. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I not just allowed. want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And and stranger stale kids. Where can I find this Johnny? Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Alright, let's go. Let's ask these kids. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. We gotta figure it's it just out. Just Imu's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have you ever seen him? Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Has Gran ever hurt you? Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. Your friend's not afraid to go in the woods. Why? The boy who plays with Johnny. He must be brave. Not brave. Just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods. And then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. Yeah. Help me out? The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. Alright, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Alright, let's do it. Is there something else you want? Is there something else you need or want? Ooh, I want something sweet. And me too. Oh, fruits. Give us a treat and we'll help you. Here's some treats. Yum. All right, we got treats. Never eaten nothing like this before in my life. All right, we did it. Convince the kids. Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse. Gran! <laughs> come! Gran! Come on, Gran, let's go. I, I like how they're rushing. Like, they're really, they have some pep in their step. They're going. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you afraid? Why are you scared to talk? You're not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. It's true. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me. Said not to talk to strangers, because then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too. Though she says he's made up. All right, where are your parents, kid? Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved. Others were killed. Like mine. Aww. One day, we went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. Back then? When I was coming so home, old. I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Leave my pot down by the barn door. Is it clean off? And then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. Yeah, we've heard enough. Where's Johnny? I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. You won't hurt him, kid. Johnny used to be by 
because Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. All right, let's go. Thank you. We're gonna find Johnny. I like how she's yelling at them about them cursing. Winds howling. Name calling, not a works against them before we go over that thing is way higher level than we are so it's gonna take a little bit of effort it might take us a few tries because I think it was definitely over level 10 if I read it correctly, so. Let's see what we can do. Glossary here, the bestiary. What are we looking up? Drowners. So they are weak against Igni. She's just level six. We're fine. There we go. If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. There we go. All right, Johnny's got to leave Prince. Let's look. Over here. Let's 
Check him out. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. So I guess we're going up this way. Follow Johnny's footprints here. I get so caught up in like paying attention to it that I forget to talk. The tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's oh, inside. It's the burrow. Let's do it. Let's find Johnny. Johnny? Come on, Johnny, you can come out. Don't be afraid. We won't hurt you. You're a bucka? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Yep. Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? I can't talk. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Took his voice. Lost your voice? Yep. Ursula took it. Can I help you somehow? Let's go. Want me to follow you? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Alright, let's follow Johnny. Alright, hold on. Can't see for now. Quest is a watch out. damage it's hard when there's a bunch of them <sighs> for 
frustrating. <laughs> oh well. We'll get through it. Let's go. Let me see if we have any, like, food. I don't think we have any food, though, unfortunately. Oh, we do. Okay, cool. Let's put that there. There we go. So at least we can have something. bit more water. All right, where's Johnny? Stay close to me. Here he is. I don't know where we're going, but my guess is we're going to have a few more interactions with some drowners. Maybe not. This the place? Let me look around. It's up there? Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Okay, let's do it. I guess I gotta make this climb. There's a path over here to go up in here. Here we go. Can't go straight up. Gotta go around. Check our glossary. Bestiary. Do we have any harpies in here? No harpies.
That's troubling. Bring it, Harpy. Bring it. There we go. We did it. Killed that thing. All right, we got a lesser blue mutagen. What's over here? Right, they all have that. Oh, Harpy Talons. Okay. Maybe you need this bottle. All right, let's go. Can we like rest here? Yes. So I don't use up all of my... All my food, you know? Alright, where's Johnny? Here he is. Let's give him the bottle and see what we can do here. Here. Celebrating. There we go. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. <laughs> Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Yeah, would you, you turn us. this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yes. How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. Mm -hmm. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. It's got, like, do I look like something. a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice. But I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. Oh. They don't have no one. So he's not getting it from them. How do you bottle someone's How voice? How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I. Especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook. At others, like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels of water. It's like me. Somebody I can talk enough powerful like that. magic on you as a prank or just to be mean. All right, we're looking for a lady. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Too much Suddenly, information. heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. 
Young Ashen Hair, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. Huh? I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my mourn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. <laughs> that woman, who's that I've lady? I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Yes. Nuts, completely. <laughs> so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. <laughs> An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. Know anything about these crones? What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Mm -hmm. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. You must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. Oh, I see. see them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. So she went off towards the village? She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers. And you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her. Got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. Let's go. There he is. He has like a weird stalling movement. Like I run a little bit faster than him. more up here. Oh, we got a water hag. Where's Johnny? Here he is. Can we like rest a second, Johnny? I'm stuck in these plants. Alright, there we go. Just give me a little time to recuperate here. break.
we're reaching the village here. There we go. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Get in there and sing, kid. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You, you got your voice back. I did, mm -hmm. though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. <laughs> You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Well, you gotta talk to us. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. We need to no. talk to them. She's not allowed. Come on, lady. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help me. Yeah, come on, Gran. You owe because us. otherwise, he'll best her me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? We gotta find the ladies. Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come yeah, thank you. Thanks, Johnny. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. The ladies. Who's there are the ladies? Ladies lovely. With power over all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. These are getting weird, guys. Real weird. Oh. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? How much rest do you need? They speak through you? Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever, too. Where have you been hiding, boy? I wanted to talk to you. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. She is like a daughter to me. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> oh, inappropriate. Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. She's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like Sam. What happened to her? It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? No. Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. Down it Warren, feeds okay. with hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen herb Alright, we gotta destroy a beast and down Warren. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. 
Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. All right. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. We gotta kill it with a dagger? Why do I need a dagger? A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll eat with all. Okay. Now we know. It's a deal. Let's do it. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Alright, we'll get it done. Oh, you missed just right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. This is why this woman is insane. She's constantly being upset, uh, possessed. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Ooh, it is a dagger, that's for sure. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone nose. Stone ears. All right. So our quest has been updated. This is a big quest. Look at all these things. All right. So we have to go talk to the elder man of Downwarren about the village's problems. Let's see. So we, we now have harpies. Let's see what the harpies added here. Okay, so harpies are under hybrids. Most monsters don't actually keep any treasure in their lairs. Harpies, though, they like shiny things. It is hard to say what is most repulsive about harpies and their cousins, the Shishigas. Their hideous appearance, the overwhelming stench of rot and bird excrement that clings to them, or their blood-curdling screech. Suffice it to say that even rats, who dwell happily among the rankest fecal matter and rotten waste, give their nests wide berth. Ew. Harpies are disgusting. What are they weak against? They're weak against grape shop bombs, hybrid oil, and the ard sign. Alright, good to know. Alright. So, we're pretty much at two hours, so we are gonna call it a night for this stream uh we made a little bit more progress partially finished a quest or you know mo you know got a chunk of a quest done we started on this quest so we're just gonna see where this takes us we'll continue on on thursday probably 8 p.m so thank you guys for coming out tonight and hopefully i'll see you back here thursday night at eight so have a good night